before performing or applying external urinary device. First step is to perform hand hygiene. In performing hand hygiene is to prevent infection. After performing hand hygiene, next step is provide client privacy by closing the door and by closing the curtain. The next is gather the supplies and or equipment that needed into the procedure. So we have a condom catheter, drape, so urinary drainage bag, and also the gloves. Then after that is introduce yourself and identify the patient. Hi ma'am, I'm Ardi Kamba Jr. I am a student nurse in UR. The next is explain the procedure. So like what are you going to do and why it is necessary. The next is position the patient properly either in seating or supine position. Then after that is assess the patient if he, if he or she is allergic or sensitive into latex. Then after that is preparation. So in preparation, first is you need to assemble the drainage bag. So we have two types of drainage bag that use into the patient. So if the patient remains in bed, we use a urinary drainage bag. So, but if the patient is ambulatory, we use a leg drainage bag. So, our patient is remains in bed. So, we use a urinary drainage bag. So, I place into the bed frame. Then, after that is place the drape in appropriate. So, with, with blanket. So, exposing into the penis of the patient. patient. So, on the... Then after that is apply gloves. After applying gloves, so next is inspect the penis if there is a broken or reddened skin. Then also clean the genitalia if Cleaning the genitalia to minimize to minimize irritation or excoriation. Then after that is apply the condom and secure the condom. So roll the condom. Roll the condom smoothly over the penis. Then make sure the condom is is not make sure the condom is firmly but not too tightly because if the condom is too tightly the tendency of this is to stop blood going from the penis. Then make sure if make sure the tip of the the penis is not touching the the condom and and the condom is not is not twisted because the tendency of this is to is to obstruct the flow of the urine. Then after that is attach or connect the urinary bag into the Urinary or urinary drainage back into the condom. So after that is remove the remove the drain. Then dispose this in an appropriate receptacle. Then after that is remove and discard the gloves. The next is perform hand hygiene. So after performing hand hygiene, next step is teaching the patient about the drainage system. So you need to instruct instruct the patient to to keep the drainage to keep the drainage so below the condom and instruct to to avoid or to to avoid kinks or loops of the tubing and instruct the patient to remain to report pain swelling irritation or leaking of around the penis then after that is you need also to to inspect and assess the the client penis 30 minutes following condom application so at least four hour, every four hours so check the urine flow so in assessing and check if there is irritation swelling also 
Then after that is document document the client using form.